So this here, guys, is probably the rarest vice in the entire world. Well, three quarters of the rarest vice in the entire world. So this is going to be a show and tell, a light clean up, and it's a request for information if anyone's got any information about this vice. Here we go. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to put it in here temporarily. No, firstly, I'll show you the bottom. I think it would have had an adjustable base on it. So that's the bottom. As you can see, I've mounted in an existing hole in my bench, and it could do it coming this way about two and a half inches. Um, it's had a hard life. It's missing a jaw. It's undone. It's unlocked. Pull it out. That's now locked. That's not really going anywhere. Want to take it out, release it. It's released. This will open up to around four inches. Locked. Want to get it out. Unlocked. How cool is that, guys, eh? Um, yeah, if anyone's got any information on this, I can't see any markings. Um, drop us a note, drop us a line in the description. Excellent vice. <clears throat> I'll just gonna give it a quick clean. Drop of oil. And uh, yeah, as I say, that I think is one of the rarest vices in the world. Doing the glasses. Zero zero two three twenty three clever little thing. Mm. With the handle in the vertical position, the teeth are low down. You move it to about there and the teeth move up. And they engage with the teeth in the bottom of the top jaw. Then as you move around from two o'clock to around eight o'clock, it pulls the teeth backwards and forwards, moving the rear jaw. Very blooming clever. I've just given it a bit of an oil in, a bit of a clean up. Oil the cam. How brilliant so locked it'll go around a bit more but I've got no room on the bench uh, yeah there you go guys I think probably the rarest vice in the world 
also one of the most beaten up vices in the world. Um, any more information, very welcome. Thanks. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>